Hi guys, it's Nikki with Sweet Bee Farms. I am a hobbyist beekeeper here in Ohio, and I decided to start this channel to make beekeeping related content. Um, I hope to do some how-to videos, do videos out on the bee yard, and I have a couple packages that are coming in less than two weeks now, so I hope to do some videos on installing those packages and doing kind of a chronicle of um, how those packages do over the next year. Today what I want to talk to you about though is what I think is the best beehive for a beginner. So when you get started, you're going to come across three main hive styles and they are the Ware, the Top Bar Hive, and the Langstroth Hive. The Langstroth Hive is the hive that I think is the most appropriate for a beginner beekeeper. I'm going to go over the reasons why I think that is. First though, if you're not familiar with the Langstroth Hive, I have recently done a video going over it in a little bit more detail and I've included that down in the description below. Obviously guys, this is a Langstroth Hive with me today. It's the most commonly used beehive here in the United States. I think that fact uh, alone makes it uh, have much more advantage over the other hive styles. First and foremost for availability, there are a ton of manufacturers of the Langstroth Hive and availability of educational resources. When you get started, you're probably going to do what I did, and that is go online to do research. Uh, you're probably going to join some beekeeping groups or forums and go on YouTube. And what you'll find is that most people have this hive. One of the biggest factors also, if not the biggest factor you're going to use to determine your hive, is the cost. And I think there are some people who initially start out with a top bar hive because it is less expensive than a Langstroth hive in the beginning, but the Langstroth hive is so worth it in my opinion. And we talked about all the different manufacturers of Langstroth hives, uh, but in my opinion, they're all relatively um, kind of priced in, in similar price ranges. And I, there are options to buy this hive for all different budgets. So the most cost-effective way to buy a Langstroth Hive is to buy it disassembled, which means that all of these components are going to come pre-cut and pre-measured and you can put them together yourself. Now, that's also a great option if you're a DIY person. If you're not a DIY person, then no worries, because on the other end of that spectrum, you can buy a complete hive that is ready to go out of the box and you can put right on the bee yard and it's ready for bees. Another way to purchase a Langstroth Hive is it is possible to purchase uh, a used hive, but I would caution you if you're looking into that option to really kind of read up on the regulations um, in the state that you're in because used beekeeping equipment sales is regulated and everything has to be inspected before you buy it. So you want to make sure that that seller is getting everything inspected and following your local regulations so you don't get equipment that's going to be harmful to your bees. The next thing that I really enjoy about the Langstroth Hive is the interchangeability. So all of these hives are manufactured to an industry standard, which means that you can interchange those parts. You can mix new and used hive components. You can mix components of different manufacturers and they will all work together. The next thing I love is the, customize, the customizability of a Langstroth Hive. There are no two beekeepers, in my opinion, that do everything the same, and there's no standard Langstroth hive. So these hive come in 10 or 8 frame, and then they have 5 frames, which are typically used as nukes. And even in those combinations, you have three different size hive bodies that you can mix and match or use to whatever your preference is as a beekeeper, um, whatever your colony needs, and uh, whatever your climate uh, needs for your colony. You do also um, have the option to, they are expandable, so you can add to your hive uh, as your colony grows or you can decrease, like if you're doing a split for example. Another great thing is the aesthetics of the Langstroth hive. Out of all three of the hive types, this one is not unsightly. It is because it is a stackable hive, it does not take up a lot of space in your bee yard. You can use these in residential areas. It can be painted uh, or left in a wood grain. Um, so really, I think, in my personal opinion, is that the Langstroth hives are more aesthetically pleasing than the other hive styles. And I think the most important thing to me that really sets this hive apart from the other styles are the frames. And I will show you what I mean by that. 
So this is a 10 frame Langstroth hive. And all of the frames in this hive are movable, which means I can remove them uh, one by one. And why that's so important is that when you're getting in your hive to do inspections, whether you're looking for varroa mites or you're looking to make sure your queen is laying, you can really get in and do a detailed and thorough inspection because you can remove all of these frames. Another thing that's an advantage of having movable frames is that you can share resources. So if you need to, you can take a frame of honey or brood from a strong colony and give to a weak colony. And the structure of these frames, I think, are better than the top bar hive and the waray hives. Um, so in this frame, our bees are going to draw out the honeycomb here in the center of it, which means our honeycomb is going to be completely surrounded by the structure of the frame. On a top bar hive, for example, you just have a bar on the top, and the bees are going to build that honeycomb in kind of a downward pattern with no stability on the bottom of it. So when you're getting in to do hive inspections, you don't have the same ability to really uh, manipulate your frames that you do uh, as with the Langstroth hive without um, harming your honeycomb. Also Langstroth hive frames make it uh, possible to extract your honey with an extractor and that is my preferred way to extract honey. So these are the things that I uh, I personally like about the Langstroth Hive and what I think makes this the best choice for a new beekeeper. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a like. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day.